I have one last video to make you guys today. Okay. The, you guys might not get all of these videos probably till midnight. But that's okay. I have a lot of news updates that I want to give you guys for June 18th. All right. So, uh, 911, 45 cities in Massachusetts have power outages right now. Uh, rockets are, um, uh, alert sirens are activated in northern Israel. Um, and the FDA tells providers to prepare for supply chain disruptions. Why would that be? Oh, wait, famine is exactly what they're trying to do. Now, I want to read you guys this. Blue my mind. Not really. So we see all these illegal immigrants that's over here in America. I want to read to you. This just came out. Joe Biden was set to announce a new action opening a pathway to citizens for the undocumented spouses and children of U.S. citizens, a sweeping initiative that could provide relief to hundreds of thousands of mixed status families in the country. According to the senior administration officials, Biden is expected to announce the new actions at a White House event marking the 12th anniversary of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA, which presently shields from deportion nearly 530,000 undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. These eligible, eligible non-citizens who have lived here for 10 years or more have deep family and community ties in the United States. Many of these families include U.S. citizen children, yet they live in fear and face deep uncertainty about their future. Under the policy, undocumented immigrants who have resided in the U.S. for 10 or more years as of the 17th of June and are legally married to a U.S. citizen will be newly eligible to pursue legal status while living and working in the United States. Shall I go on? Oh, you want to know why I don't like this? Because he turned around through this and said that Trump, the Republican nominee, has outlined an even harsher immigration crackdown if elected to a second term, including the largest mass deportion campaign in the U.S. history. The process Biden will announce is known as parole in place, which provides relief from deportion and access to work permits for undocumented immigrants who live in the United States. Problem? Well, we all know um, that they lie. All of them do. But the fact that he has allowed this in our country is not good for us at all. I understand in a way where he's coming from. But how would you like it if us Americans just went over the border and decided, hey, I'm Venezuelan, I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to stay there for as long as I want. I'm going to have me a 100 kids, and I'm going to become a citizen. But I'm also going to go back to my country as I please. You wouldn't allow that. Oh, on top of that, I'm not going to learn your language. I'm going to continue speaking English. Like, and I know that sounds wrong because there's probably some that's on this that are illegals. And I'm not docking against anybody, which I understand some of them actually are here for relief and others are not. Um, so the, the whole thing is screwed up. America is no longer considered a free country. I've made that evidently clear. So when people want to celebrate the 4th of July, if we even are, you're celebrating it for all the wrong reasons. Okay? America is done. There's nothing to celebrate. Okay. And then you guys remember my dream. Right here. You guys see December 6, 2015. That was nine years ago. I saw the kingdom. I went there. Jesus sat on the throne, came walk, uh, walk into me, gave me a crinkle piece of paper that said, I am ready. I took it and he had me on his left side and walked down a few steps to the end where people on each side. He showed me a door. I opened it. It was white, then all black. Then I saw the constellation of a woman, then saw nothing for a while. I was confused. I saw Jesus stick his tongue out and came a sword. It was a sword to his kingdom. It was a road. It was a golden brown. I saw a missile hit the East Coast. You remember, I forgot to tell you this, on it. The other dream about Michaela and my son. That same day, my son had a dream, and I have to stop there. He said, Mom, I dreamt that 
um, there is a massive tornado that was coming or there was a massive storm that's coming next week. And it's going to be so big, it's going to turn into a tornado into the east, and it's going to take up the whole entire east. It's going to be the biggest storm ever, he said. And as I was running into the house to get to safety, the the force of that storm was so powerful, it sucked him in the house, not out. And then he woke up. Point to this, because I believe that storm he's seeing is a nuclear war. That's what I believe. Okay, so... Uh, then the Middle East, then then the East Coast, then West, then South, and then nothing. I saw a cross in the middle being knocked down and wrapped in Pope's clothing. It stood up. I started tearing up. I saw a coin, which was an Indian-looking dude, then had a sword that turned into jets, hitting everywhere, had nets that were dropping, capturing groups of people. I saw the words Russia and China. I saw an island. It was safe. No one was there. That is when um, it, the vision ended, and I heard to me, be ready, be ready. I am coming. Why am I reading this to you? Because I've just showed it to you on my other videos. Well, because I want you guys to process these dreams are starting to come to pass. And this is exactly where we are at in Bible prophecy. This is why I know Jesus is coming. And this is exactly why I will never put my God in a box. Because when you're putting God inside of a box, you're putting him inside time. And God is outside of time. We are in time. He created time. Dag on that. Um... And so when we're doing that, we're stating that we know more than God, and we don't. So on War News 24-7, it says, Total war, NATO Russia, NATO pilots of Ukraine, Ukrainian F-16, Stolenberg said by mistake, permission for deep strike raids inside Russia. Okay, the Secretary General of NATO is determined to take the situation with Russia to the extreme. After his statements about the operational readiness of NATO's nuclear weapons, he revealed that the pilots of the Ukrainian F-16s will be NATO, commenting on the delivery of F-16 fighters to Kiev. Um, Jen Stolberg, Stolenberg described the U Ukrainian Air Force as NATO Air Force and added that NATO pilots will be the ones to operate the F-16s. Um, and he said, but the bottom line is, is that he probably accidentally revealed the fine print of the NATO plan. And at the same time, John Kirby stated that America will continue to evolve our support for Ukraine as it evolves its strategy on the battlefield. Um, and Romania is most likely that their pilots will be NATO either officially or unofficially as mercenaries. We're very close to seeing the first dogfights and shoot down between the two air forces, NATO and Russia. That's funny. Why? Because here we go. My dreams are also of China. I, I've already showed you those, but I could show them again if you'd like. The, on the Times of Israel now. Israel at war. Day 256, Seoul, South Korea, Russian president thanked North Korea for supporting his actions in Ukraine and said their countries will cooperate closely to overcome U.S.-led sanctions as he headed to Pyongyang on Tuesday for a summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Putin's comments appeared in an opt-piece in North Korean state media hours before he was expected to arrive in the north for a two-day two -day visit as the countries deepened their alignments in the face of separate intensifying confrontations with the, with Washington. Putin, who will be making his first visit to North Korea in 24 years. Now, I don't know why I've seen the number 12. I've seen the number 24 for years and years and years, and you guys know that. I just found it ironic in 24 years. We are in the year 24 Okay, and he highly appreciates its firm support of his invasion of Ukraine. He said the countries will continue to resolutely oppose what he described as Western ambitions to hinder the establishment of a multipolarized world order based on mutual respect for justice. So, um, 
And Putin also said Russia and North Korea will develop unspecified trade and payment systems that are not controlled by the West and jointly oppose sanctions against countries, which he described as unilateral and illegal restrictive measures. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Russia has its own little government. It's... It's not legalist. It's it's not even ran like our country, and that's why it's ran so well. So, um, Russian train Chinese. Okay, so here's where the China are fitting in this. Russians train Chinese in trench warfare for invasion of Ch Taiwan. U.S., Russia, and China will attack together. So the first time since 1970, Russian warships in CS Syria. Uh, Tobruk waiting for an impressive Russian strike in Ukraine. Uh, after the Russian Baltic fleet and the Northern fleet, those whose forces have been loaded with nuclear weapons, Russia has started naval exercises in the Mediterranean. The intense naval mobility shows that Moscow wants to have its forces in a state of highest readiness in the event of a striking strike in Ukraine or in the event of engagement with NATO so that necessary it can be close to Suez Canal or to the Sioux Canal. I'm, I'm getting where I need to be. All right, and then it says, China could soon have to choose fueling or between fueling the Ukraine war and its access to Europe's economy. It's not good. And Putin leaves Russia's far east for North Korea, Russian media outlet says. Lebanon's Hezbollah, okay, publishes drone footage claiming to show surveillance um I can't read the rest of that, of Israel's, okay? So we have a fire at the Northern Iranian Hospital, which kills nine patients. And um, Israeli artillery strikes targets in southern Lebanon. And then they had a magnif magnitude of 5.8 earthquake strikes northern Peru. These earthquakes are getting more and more intense. Um, and Maldives postpones ban on Israelis fearing law could include Israeli Arabs. South Korea uh, military fires warning shots after North Korean soldiers cross um, the Demarcadian line. This stuff's starting worldwide. You see how this is with the dreams. We have China, Russia, NATO, which team up all against America. We already see Russia on our border. Um, and you see the sharks and, and stuff and those activities that's, that we've never seen before. And since we have allowed them on our border last year, they're going to try and sneak on here again as if it's a drill or a practice. But their their missiles are pointing towards us. They will bomb us. Mark my words for that. They absolutely will. But I also believe 100% none of this stuff can occur until the rapture happens. And there is a guaranteed rapture. No one can fight that. There's a rapture and there's a second coming in story. And uh, so that's what I have to say about that. We are so close. Keep in your faith. People's dreams are coming to pass. We don't know when these when things are happening. It does seem like nothing is occurring, but it is. Everything has to be set into motion. So when we leave, it all pops off all at once. And we're right there we're on the cusp of all of it so pray over all of these videos that i've done today and i'll see you there in the air god bless